You have an agenda that you feel a desperate need to hold on to. And what I'm trying to get through to you is you have turned your life over to him. He he's comes and says, okay, we're going to lease a house together to co-parent. That is sick. That's not what he said. That is psychopathic. It I mean, is. the fact uh, you're, you're he's, he's, he's delivering you divorce papers and leasing a house with you at the same time? Lisa's in my name. I was just trying to figure out how to co-parent with our two-year-old. But did you guys discuss living together in this house you're leasing? We did, yes. That's insane! Because he doesn't say that we're just going to co-parent. He spins it to me like we're going to work on our relationship. We're going to be friends again. We're going to see where this goes. We're going to hold Why our family together. Why is that together. okay with you? Let me tell you what's happening here. He is looking for a safety zone, a soft oh, place to that. fall. He wants his cake and eat it I too. Know I'm going to lease yeah. this house. You're going to move in there. And then I'm going to go out and chase these girls. But then mama's going to be at home so I can come home whenever I need to. Yeah, I, no, I, I want it. you there to keep the fires burning and I can come home. I want my cake and eat it too. So I'll lease this house and you move in and we'll work on this. Yeah, we've been working on it. Right. You are so passive and desperate, you put up with things, and so that just pulls for more out of him. And because you were that way, then it just pulls for more out of you. The two of you are the worst possible match in the configuration you're in right now. Yeah. He does outrageous things, you let him get away with it. I'm not passive. I would never use the word passive to describe no. my personality. You make noise, but you don't take action. You're right. Dustin has no desire to salvage his marriage to Marcia, correct? That is correct. Today. Uh, It'll change. That doesn't match what you were saying just the other day. My message is not landing. It is. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, and so let me try this again. So you're right. getting mixed messages. Of course, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Absolutely. It's very manipulative. It puts you in a position of saying, well, I... There's a glimmer of hope here, and I take marriage so seriously. Well, let me tell you what that looks like to me. It looks like to me that you have taken a seat on the bench, and you're waiting for him to tell you what's going to happen in your life. You have to decide, you know what? I'm going to decide what happens in my life. I got a life to live. She can't wait. You deserve so much better. My thing is I won't wait. I'm not doing it. And that's why we haven't had a relationship. Like, I deserve better from you. You deserve better. I love you and you're my dad and I always will have a soft spot for you and that sucks. Because I'm tired of being disappointed and embarrassed and seeing you treat women terribly. And you know, you're talking to 19 year olds. That's disgusting and I'm disgusted by that. The reason I came to this show was because you told me you'd never speak to me again if I didn't come to the show. And that is why I came to the show, because I knew exactly what this was going to be. It was going to be a, all against me, and I understand that. I haven't, I haven't been a good husband, but it hurts to hear that I haven't been a good dad, because you weren't around when all this was going on. First off, let me say to you, love your father. You. you don't have to love everything he does to love him. And trust me, if anything is going to inspire him to do better, it's probably you. <clears throat> you seem to be asking yourself, what am I looking for? What's it take to fill me up where I, you know, where I really feel fulfilled? because you're looking for something. And I, I think you need to go through some real self-examination and I, I'm willing to arrange that for you if, if you're willing to do it. Not marital therapy. I'm saying you need to have the opportunity to really examine yourself and find out what you need to do so you can look in the mirror and really be fulfilled and be proud of who you are. Absolutely. And if I make those arrangements, will you do it? I will do it.